Good morning. So today on the bench we have this Iowa HSJ505. This is another device from the same customer actually. And what we told that uh, this device uh, does not does not play tapes so there is no sound as i remember okay so we have right here those batteries first of all this one will not we will not need that so we'll put that away and this part actually very hardly opening but we can as always fix that part by using just a bit of grease yeah so let's do this and actually these places because this those are the hardest to unlatch yeah let's put in some batteries or whatever we are not going to use batteries uh, we will use just uh, that uh, uh, power supply, yeah? What about now? Oh well, now it's, it's much more uh, much more easier to latch and latch, yeah? So let's use power supply 2 volt DC uh, Inside this minus, and what do we have? We have the required one. Okay. Okay. So we see. Oh, there is some indentation. So it was punched a bit into that place, but well, what can you do? Mm hmm. What about the head? Oh, so we have right here that legendary Iva W-shaped head, as you can see. Mm -hmm. What is wrong right here? Oh, it's already broken. So maybe we will glue this back. Mm -hmm. Let's connect headphones and let's put in a set and let's see if it's working at all. Okay. What? It is the motor. Just screaming. Do we have some output? No, we don't actually. What about uh, radio? Oh, right here. Volume is on maximum. And there is absolutely no sound. Absolutely no sound. Yeah. Okay. So this one will be interesting. I think. So let's begin. And let's try to repair it. So let's start. Let's disassemble the device first of all.
for these devices you have to track those screws very good <laughs> because uh, most of them are different sizes and so on and so forth so So this part is away. Oh, lots of lots of what the what the hell is going on right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this will be interesting one. Okay, so. Let's continue with this assembly. some some terminals are even not connected at all have somehow removed that part mm -hmm. I don't know how we'll fit that again <laughs> okay I'm just just joking guys just joking so we successfully removed what in what we need here? Yeah? Let's unsolder those two joints. Okay, and already I can smell. Capacitors. Let's check the head. What is the status of this one? Actually, this one looks looks nice, looks okay. But the motor sound was actually terrible. Let's check again. Okay, now it is quiet. I 
and now not quite as you can hear can you hear it okay oh jesus okay 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 let's remove that belt and let's test the motor again no whoa 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 okay We'll have to oil it definitely, and what about capstans? Capstans actually spinning freely, but uh, I think we will oil them also. But this will do in the future. Now let's check what the hell do we have right here. Boy, oh boy. Corrosion everywhere. Everywhere. Where you look. You can see it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I have prepared all the required capacitors for the repair but what I can see that it will be much more convenient if I would solder those flex wires okay so guys I was looking into the PCB and I have noticed that uh, there is missing capacitor right here yeah. And from the service manual, I have found out that this, it is the same as this one, so it's 222 volts, but uh, I will use uh, 220 microfarads, uh, 4 volt one. Okay, so we have prepared all those capacitors, actually a huge pile of them. <laughs> so let's... Let's uh, proceed with the repair process. And so first of all, let's remove all those bad capacitors. And we will do this as always the same way. Okay, just look at that mess. Do you see it? 
Jesus Christ. That's all the words that I can say like right now. <laughs> Okay, this one is through hole. Let's remove it straight away. Good. All the board, board smells like fish. Shit. Oh, fish shit. Okay, so I have decided actually to unsolder that uh, uh, door flex <coughs> because it will be much more easier for me to to clean this PCB to do the, the deep cleaning that I'm planning to do for it. Yeah, so so let's do this. Okay, so right now let's go outside and let's do the deep deep cleaning. I will do this by my own. I will not bring the phone with me, uh, so I'll be back when I'll finish cleaning this mess. Okay, so I'm back from cleaning process. And as you can see, we have a bit better result right here so let's also let's also clean those pads <clears throat> Just think about uh, how it would be difficult uh, to remove those capacitors if they they still would be attached to this mainboard. Look at that melting point is much much higher right now, and it is very hard to <clears throat> to get in touch with the soldering iron and those pads. And hot air. <laughs> no, no, my friend. No hot air. I want to live. I don't want to die from those toxic smokes.
Okay, so PCB is clean right now, so I think we can proceed with soldering those capacitors back on to the motherboard. Okay, so let's continue. Also, I have checked uh, you know, traces uh, if they are continuous, you know, and uh, so right now we can just just start start soldering those capacitors back. Okay. So let's start from this thing. Yeah.
We finished soldering all those new capacitors back in, as you can see, they are new, nice and shiny and beautiful, it should work per just perfectly fine. Um, so right now, what about this potentiometer, I have another one. Uh, without the digits, but it's also functional. But for this one, I think we will give him just a little doxit. And let's spray it out. And you can see how dirty actually it was. Yeah? Some drops gone from this. Good. So we finished with this PCB. Then what do we have right here? Oh well, right here. We have to definitely oil the motor. So let's do this straight away. You can hear how it became quiet. Totally quiet. It also has very good torque. So this issue fixed, then let's maybe remove some of those pulleys, okay. Good. Then those uh, Two also. So first of all, let's let's remove those.
Then about the belt, it has a sh some shape, as you can see right here. Let me check uh, what belt uh, there should be, and I'll be back. This one, this I uh, will just give back for the customer. Okay, now it's a good time to clean those capstones. So let's let's do this. So we will clean the head. The head looks very, very nice. Uh, I have checked and uh, it is perfect, perfectly fine. So I think we can proceed with assembly process. And this one is gonna be a bit more complicated. As you can remember, Solder this one. Come on, come on, darling, go away. Let's use a bit of dioxide on that button.
Okay, now let's solder everything back together. Finally, those wires from the motor. Okay, so that's it, I think. Let's test. Okay, so right now let's um, let's check uh, Dolby level. I have already set the azimuth <coughs> for this device, and it was not very spot on, but I I managed to 
achieve the best results. <coughs> okay. So I need a ground point somewhere. I could use this one or right here, but I think I'll use uh, this one. Okay. So let's start. So testing points for the left channel I see right here. Two ninety. Okay, <clears throat> so this should be regarding service manual one hundred plus minus five. So we will have to adjust it. Let's start from left channel. Okay, so there is that potentiometer. Okay, 100, perfect. And the right channel. Also 100. Let's switch direction. Okay, we are in the margin and with the left channel we are a bit off, so let's let's do one hundred and five. Just like that. Forward direction ninety nine. Okay, and right. and one hundred. So this will be just perfect this device. <coughs> Second we will do uh, tip speed and one flutter adjustment. Okay so right now let's check tip speed on wow and flutter. So let's remove that Dolby tip. Let's put in that one. Plug-in power supply <coughs> and potentiometer for tip speed adjustment is right here. So as we can see we are off. And also right here. So just like that, another direction, yeah we are too fast so let's bring it down a bit, just something like this, I think this is what we can achieve with this device. And also wow and flutter RMS we are not ex exceeding uh, that uh, over uh, 0 0.45 so let's continue and let's I think uh, proceed with uh, full device assembly and then we will test the device with some music as always so let's fully assemble the device. This part I've done uh, off camera, uh, and I didn't. I just didn't notice that I was not recording. But basically, you have to adjust it carefully so that all of those switches would uh, be in the corresponding place, and uh, so that you can turn on off those modes and things 
and uh, basically that's it i think uh, yeah so let's continue then and let's close the device Also, what I have done that screw was uh, too too shiny in my opinion so I have changed with uh, with a black one so that it will not stick out when you when you look at it, at it here so this is it then let's uh, let's actually test the device with some music before the t before the testing let's uh, do tip head the magnetizing then let's go to the testing okay so final test uh, let's use some headphones yeah After adding a bit of uh, grease into those points, now it's it's sliding a bit uh, a bit uh, better. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, let's uh, then test how it plays. Good. Okay. That is perfectly fine. Let's fast forward, rewind, play another direction. Plays just perfectly fine. So this is it for this Iowa HSG five oh five oh five player player uh, actually this repair was kind of challenging but we managed to fix that uh, cassette playing part here yeah, uh, perfectly so as always thanks for watching like like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one cheers <laughs>